Hey guys, my name is Christine DeMeo and I'm a live looping artist. And I know a lot of you follow me on my channel already and you have had questions about my live looping setup. So I'm gonna take you guys with me to a gig tonight and I will walk you through my entire setup from basically start to finish. And that way it'll give you some insight on how I'm doing things. So let's go ahead and get this show on the road. All right, as you can see, we're here at the venue and I've got all of my gear set up and ready to go. So let's go in there and walk through this stuff. So let's start off with the most important thing, my pedal board. This is how I basically run everything that you see me playing. Now, let me explain it to you this way. This is my Boss RC600 and it's my loop station, but I'm also using the capabilities that it has, such as it's a mixer. So I use the built-in mixer on the Boss RC600 and I don't have an external mixer whatsoever. So all of my, um, all of my instruments are being ran through this just like you would a regular mixer. Um, I'm adjusting you know, the volume and everything from the mixer inside of the Boss RC600. Now, I will say this, I am running, this is my wireless guitar unit. And then this is my vocal harmonizer right here. This is where I get all of my reverb, compression, and vocal harmonies. And I run my microphone into this, and then I run it into the looper. Now this right here is my HX Stomp. And I'm running my guitar into this, and this is where I get my acoustic sound and all my other effects. And I run this into the looper also. And then this right here is just the Boss FS7, and I use it to switch memory banks on the Boss RC600. So everything, basically, vocals and guitar, are going into the looper right here, into the back of the looper. And then from there, there's a direct box underneath this pedal board, and I route everything from the looper out through the DI. Now, I'm not also, I don't want to forget this, so I'm going to go ahead and pull you guys up here to see it real quick. I am also using the Boss um, Roland Octopad. This is where I'd get all my drum sounds, and um, this runs into the looper also. Like I said, looper is my looper and it is my mixer. And then I'm using up here for my singing. Here, let me see if I can get you guys up here. And for my singing, I'm using the Shure Beta 87A. And like I said, that goes straight into the vocal harmonizer, which then goes into the Boss RC600. So everything, like I said, gets ran into the 600. And the 600 goes into a DI underneath the pedal board and into my EV30M. And I am not utilizing the mixer on the back of this speaker system. I'm running it at the basic settings, which is just a basic speaker settings. Because, like I said earlier, I'm using the RC600 as my mixer. So everything gets mixed from there and goes into this. And then, of course, I know some of you might have seen, I am using the Taylor T5Z Pro. This is my new one in that beautiful Harbor Blue. And then I've also got this little camping table set up right here where I keep my egg shakers and, you know, phone and things like that when I'm playing. Now, I did want to make mention real quick that on my looper board, I'm sure some of you have seen, I've got this, this little guy right here. It's called the Zoom AMS 44. So whenever I do all my live streaming or recording, I will use this. It's an audio interface that sits on my pedal board full time now. So I've got that set up. And then 
right here, I got them charging right now, but I've got the X Vive um, U4 in ear monitor pack. And I'm sure some of you are like, how are you using in ear monitors when you don't have a mixer? Well, let's go over here. There's a little input that I've got labeled as click. That's the headphone output. And I'm using the headphone output on this RC600 as my in-ear monitor mix. And it's really cool. Like I said, I don't know, I don't really know why more people don't utilize the 600 as their mixer as well as their looper. I think they're kind of missing out on an opportunity to downsize, but hey, teach their own. So that's my in-ear monitor mix input right there. And that's what I plug into. Now, right now, my iPad is charging, but I do have a tablet holder right there. And whenever I am doing a live stream or I'm just taking requests, I usually use a split screen on my iPad and I'll have my music open on one side and I'll have my live stream or my request line open on the other side. Now, I've said previously in other videos that when I play, I sit down as I play. I like to use this rock and sock drum throne. It's super comfortable and it's hydraulic, so easy to you know pull it up or pull it down and I'm a big fan of this uh, drum throne it's really held up I've had it for over two years now I think and it's just solid as rock <laughs> rock and sock I didn't even mean to do that there it is that's my whole setup that I use at every single one of my gigs sometimes I bring my own lights sometimes I don't for this gig I usually don't because there's that TV with the cool like display behind me but I hope you guys found this helpful, and if you did, please like and subscribe. And if you have any other questions about how I'm routing everything into my looper, please feel free to hit me up. I did my best on the fly to, uh, you know, explain that everything goes in there, but sometimes you can't get it all. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you next time.